I'm gonna show you how to use Helium 10 to find a profitable product to sell on Amazon. I'm also gonna show you how to use this tool to make more money selling on Amazon. And this is gonna be a full length tutorial going over all the different tools in the Helium 10 suite of tools. It's also gonna be a review of the Helium 10 tool where I'll talk about the pros and the cons of purchasing this tool. And here's the secret, you actually don't need to pay for this tool. There is a free version of this tool that I'll be talking about later in this video. I've also added timestamps in the description for tutorials on all the different tools within Helium 10. So if there's a specific tool that you're looking to learn more about, look at the description and click on the timestamp. But before I get into that, my name is Travis Marziani. I'm a seven figure Amazon seller. I've been selling on Amazon for almost seven years. And on this channel, I talk about how to make money with Amazon FBA, including sharing all my successes and failures. So make sure to subscribe for more Amazon FBA videos. But let's get right into it and let's break down the pros and the cons of this tool and see if it's a good idea for you to actually purchase this tool. And I'll show you how you can get Helium 10 for free. The first step is to click on the link down below in the description, and it's going to bring you to this page here. And if you're looking to purchase the full version of Helium 10, I do have a coupon code that's 50% off. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna click get started today. And as I mentioned, I'm gonna show you how you can get the free version of Helium 10, because don't think that you necessarily need to pay. There is this free version right here, and all you have to do is click sign up for free. Now there's a few different plans if you do wanna to upgrade to the paid plan. And we'll talk about if it's worth it to upgrade to the paid plan. And you can see the plan comparison down here. And with the free plan, you can actually use some of the different tools like Blackbox, Trendster, X-Ray, and a bunch of the keyword research tools as well. But you're limited to only two searches per day for some of these tools. And I'll show you how to use these tools and why this is so beneficial later. So before I get into the tutorial, if you are gonna be purchasing Helium 10, don't forget to use the coupon code down below, click on my link, and then all you have to do is click paste to get 50% off of Helium 10. Now I do think that this tool could be very helpful for some people, but if you're a brand new Amazon FBA seller, you might wanna pay for this tool for just one month so you can do product research, find an amazing product to sell on Amazon using these tools that I'll be going over in just a couple minutes. And then once you find your product and you find the keywords associated with that product, you can cancel your plan with Helium 10 and that's a good way to save a lot of money. And it's important to know that Helium 10 does have a 30 day money back guarantee. So if for any reason within the first 30 days of you signing up, you can ask for your money back. And here's a little secret, you can actually sign up for this tool, use it for free for 29 days and then just ask for your money back on day number 30. I don't recommend doing that, but if you're really trying to save some money, that is one option. Now I will be comparing all the different plans, including the free plan, later in this video, but let's get right into the tutorial portion of this video. And let me show you how you can use Helium 10 to start finding an amazing product and to start making more money with Amazon. So we're gonna go to Amazon and the first thing I'm gonna do here is show you the Helium 10 extension. And the Helium 10 extension has a bunch of different features, the X-ray tool, the ASIN grabber, profitability calculator, inventory levels and review insights. But it actually has even more tools than that. So let's try putting in a search into Amazon here, like Keto Nut Butter. And one of the first things you can see is this tool gives quick little insights to all the products in the search page results. It tells you the best selling rank number, tells you the best selling rank number in also the subcategories here. So grocery and gourmet is the big category. And within that is the subcategory of jams, jellies, and sweet spreads. And within that is the category of almond butter. And why this is important is the lower that the bestseller rank number is, the higher the number of sales is. You can think about this as if it's the number one best-selling product in grocery and gourmet, it's gonna have a crazy amount of sales volume. And the reason that this is so important is it allows you to know how much roughly per month these products are selling. Now, if we wanna know the exact sales numbers, we can actually click on the extension here and click on the X-ray button. And here we can see the total search volume for the phrase keto nut butter. So 2,766 times per month, people are searching for this phrase keto nut butter. And all the products listed here, all 60 of them, the total revenue for this category is $1.5 million. So there is a lot of money in the keto nut butter space. The average revenue is $34,000. So on average, these 60 products are making $34,000 per month. So what that means to me is that this is 
a pretty lucrative market to get in. I mean, this doesn't necessarily say anything about its competitiveness level. So even though these products are making a lot of money, I'm not saying necessarily that this is a good product to get into. In fact, we can actually look at the success score and the success score is a one out of five, meaning that Helium 10 does not recommend trying to create this type of a product. It also shows the average price. So the average price of all these products listed here is $15 which is relatively low. Usually you wanna to try to sell a product that's between $15 to $85. I, I don't recommend going below $15 because if you try to sell a product that's below $15, it's really hard to make a profit because you have to pay for the cost of your products and on top of that, you have to pay the Amazon FBA fee and the Amazon selling fee and just other miscellaneous expenses. So anything below $15, it's hard to make a profit on. We also have the average BSR, which is the average best selling rank and the average number of reviews. And this says a little something about how competitive this market is. So on average, these products have 2,400 reviews about, which means that that's a, they're really established. That means that it would be hard for you to rank a product here because you'd have to get 2,400 reviews just to be an average product here. And that also means that a lot of these products have even more reviews than that. And we can actually see the review count for individual products here. This one has 1,800, 2,600, and so on. So the success score overall is a one out of five, as I mentioned, probably not the kind of product that you want to try to sell on Amazon. Now, the other thing, and this doesn't really apply to this specific product, but something that makes this tool very helpful is you can click on find suppliers on Alibaba. Now, since this is a food product, I do not recommend trying to source your product if it's a food product from Alibaba, because you don't really wanna buy food products from China, but this does really help with other types of products. Maybe I'll show another example later in this video of how this would be helpful. Because if you are looking for something that they do sell on Alibaba, it just makes it a little bit simpler because then you can just click on this button and you can search in Alibaba right away. Now, one of the cool things about this tool is you can filter by price. Maybe you wanna say between $1 and $10, minimum order quantity of 100 to 1,000, and you could also look at the vendor rating here, which is basically how reputable the vendors are. And we can click apply just to see what comes up here. And you can see that there actually is flavor a keto diet instant coffee supplement. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at some advanced filters here and you can go by country. So maybe you don't want to buy from China. Maybe you wanna buy from the United States. So we can actually see here, there are some vendors in the United States, but the real reason why this tool is so helpful is you can actually see the revenue numbers for every individual product on here. So this Keto Nut Butter by Nutso is doing close to $50,000 revenue per month. This Keto Nut Butter Fat Bomb is doing around $10,000. This Organic Power Fuel Crunchy by Nutso is $66,000. So you can go through here and you can see exactly how much any product on Amazon is making, including my product right here. It says it's doing around $15,000 a month, which is partially true one of our products is doing around fifteen thousand dollars a month and so this is a relatively accurate tool this tool also gives you information like the asin of all the individual products and the asin is a amazon identification number and every single product on amazon gets its own asin identification number it also has the brand here the price of the product the number of sales and one really nifty feature is the sales graph and so i can look right here let's click on here and you can see that over the last 30 days, the sales have actually been going down. Let's look over the last 90 days. Over the last 90 days, they've actually been going up. Over a one year time frame, they've been going down. And over the all time time frame, so this product's only been being sold since July 16th, 2021. So it hasn't even been a full year. But overall, the sales of this individual product are going down, which means that you might wanna be careful about selling this product on Amazon. However, that is just the sales graph for that individual product. If you want to see the sales graph for the term keto nut butter and see are people searching it more or less often, you can click on the graph up there and let's look over the all time and it's relatively the same. This graph starts on January 5th, 2019 and you can see the sales aren't really going up. They're not really going down. So this isn't necessarily a search term that is trending upwards. Another part of the x-ray tool that's very helpful is you can always filter these results. So let's say that we only wanted to look at products that were between $15 and $30, and we can click apply filter, and it'll show you of all the products that are between $15 to $30, the total revenue is 600,000, and I can look at all these different products, and my product is one of them at 
there's all other types of things that you can filter. You can filter by not just retail price, estimated sales, estimated revenue, how many active sellers there are, uh, images, ratings, the weight of the product, the review count, FBA fees, the size tier, the category type, fulfillment type, title keyword search, and you can even exclude keywords from the title. And so you can show listings. Let's say I didn't wanna show anything that had the word keto in it, just out of fun. And look, you can see that these products are ranking for keto nut butter, even though they don't have the word keto in the title. That's kind of something interesting to me. And this product right here is doing $400,000 in sales per month, which is uh, really fascinating. Now, if you get some data that you're interested in, you can always take a picture of it right here. You can export it as an image. You can download it as a CSV report, or you can download it as an XLS report. While you're on the search page, another part of the Helium 10 extension tool is the ASIN grabber. And the ASIN grabber will copy all the ASIN numbers of all these products. And again, the ASIN is that identification number. There is a number of reasons why that can be helpful. And we'll talk about why that can be helpful later in this video. For the rest of the tools in the Helium 10 extension, we need to actually click on a listing. So I'm gonna scroll down to my product right here. And this product was my first passion product on Amazon. I've done over a million dollars in sales with this product. And throughout this video, I'm gonna show you how I was able to do over a million dollars in sales with just this one product. But the next tool we're gonna to look at here is the profitability calculator. Because it's important to remember on Amazon that revenue is not profit. Yes, I've done over a million dollars in revenue with this product, but in full transparency, it's been closer to around $400,000 in profit. And if you're looking to sell a product on Amazon, it's important to know not just how much money you'll make from it, but how much profit you're actually gonna take home. And so this automatically fills in some of the different specs here. It has the price, the dimensions, the weight, and it actually weighs under a pound, so I, I need to get that fixed. I'm not sure why it's in the large standard size tier. And so if you don't know the way that Amazon works, depending on the size and the weight of your product, they charge you a different amount for the Amazon FBA fee. Because if it's a bigger or a heavier product that you're trying to sell on Amazon, it's gonna cost Amazon more money in shipping. So right here, we can see that I'm in the large standard size. And it also estimates the manufacturing cost. And it estimates the manufacturing cost at $5.60 which isn't true, it's probably closer to around $9 approximately. It also estimates the freight cost, which is around $200, which is actually relatively accurate. And then we're gonna keep going down here, and yes, the FBA fee is $5.14. It actually shouldn't be that high. It's actually a smaller product than that. It should be around 0.8 pounds, which you can see actually lowers the FBA fee to $4.52. And if we scroll down, we can see that the net margin is around $10.05 per product I sell. And that's during the months of January to September. During the months of October to December, you have to pay a little bit more for storage fees. So the profitability during those months is only $10. And again, this tool is extremely helpful if you're looking to sell a product on Amazon so that you'll actually know how much money are you actually gonna make from it. And I believe this tool and some of the other tools we've talked about so far come with a free version of Helium 10. The next tool we'll look at is the inventory levels tool. And this is a really interesting tool because it, it'll tell you exactly how much in inventory a product on Amazon has. And that's not always necessarily that useful. One of the reasons why it could be useful is if you wanna see if your competitors are gonna be running out of inventory so you can ramp up your advertising, that might be one way you could use it. The other way you could use it is you can look at the same time over the course of multiple days how much inventory they have and see exactly how much they're selling because you'll see that their inventory is slowly going down. You can also look at the seller rating, the percentage of positive feedback, and how many ratings that the seller actually has. And luckily this Amazon selling account that I own has a 5.0 rating with over 225 ratings on the account. And this is an important thing to consider when you're seeing how competitive a market is. You can see how established a seller is because maybe a seller launches a new product, but they've been selling for 10 years and they're an expert in the space. And that might be someone that you don't wanna to try to compete with. Another feature that I find extremely useful, especially when you're trying to do product research and you're trying to figure out what kind of product you wanna sell is the review insights. Now, let's say you find a product that you do wanna sell and that there's similar products being sold on Amazon already. What I recommend doing is coming in and doing the review insights. And I'll show you exactly how to do this because what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to look at the one two and three star reviews and see what kind of problems people have with the product. And then for your product, you're gonna 
take those insights and try to fix all the issues that people had with your competitor's product and you're gonna make a better product. So there's a few different filters. You can select a date range. Maybe you only wanna see reviews in the last year. You can also select ratings that are only verified ratings. You can show only helpful ratings, only ratings with images or only ratings with videos even. But the one that I like to use the most is I like to go in here and look at the one star reviews. Another thing I will say is you can, if there's a certain keyword that you're trying to find reviews about, you can put a keyword in here. And from there, we're gonna click on extract reviews and let's see all the one star reviews for my product. So one person said it's awful. Another person complained because there was a damaged product. So right here, if I were seeing this and I was trying to be a competitor to my own product, I'd say, okay, it was damaged, huh? Why was it damaged? Well, we sell our product in a cardboard box and I know that an issue we have is a lot of times the product comes smashed. So one thing that this is teaching me is maybe I should try to figure out some kind of a way to reinforce the box so it doesn't come smashed. Another person says that there was only seven packets in the box, that three were missing. To be honest with you, I think this person's lying. I think that they just wanted a free package because I know that we have double quality control checks. So I'm pretty sure that that didn't happen. So that's not something that's necessarily that actionable. This person here said, sorry, I couldn't get past the taste. I mean, it's, a, it's an edible product. Not everybody's gonna like it. But if I was trying to create a competing product, I might put some time into thinking about how I can make a better tasting product. But really, there's only five one-star reviews, which isn't bad. We can also look at the two-star reviews or the three-star reviews. Let's take a look at the three-star reviews. So this person said it's good for smoothies, but not good as a squeezy. So my product comes in little packets, and this person's saying, nah, it's, it's not really good for just eating out of the packet, which is interesting. Uh, so one thing that that led me to start thinking about is maybe I should start selling my product in jars. Because some people are taking my product, just opening it and throwing it in smoothies anyways. Maybe it would make sense to just have it in a jar so it's not so wasteful. And that also keeps my costs down. This person said it was adequate. This person down here said it was expensive. And if I scrolled through here, I'd probably get even more insights on how I could improve this product. With the Helium 10 extension, there also is the listing health score. And if you're selling on Amazon, you can use this tool to see how you could improve your product. And you can see here, I've got, I got a 10 out of 10, so I'm doing everything right. One way that you can use this tool in the early days is look at your competitors and look at what their score is. If they're scoring a six or below, they probably don't know what they're doing on Amazon. And when I first started selling this product on Amazon, I was the only one of my competitors that actually knew and understood the Amazon platform. A lot of people right now are selling products on Amazon and they don't understand the Amazon platform. They don't understand how to optimize their product listing page. And one thing you gotta keep in mind, when you're selling a product on Amazon, it's very important to optimize this as much as possible. You wanna have a really high quality main image. You wanna have high quality, all these other images. You wanna have a good title and good bullet points because at the end of the day, when people are going to Amazon to buy your product, they can't pick it up, they can't hold it in their hands, they're not gonna know what it's actually gonna be like to own your product. So you have to show them with images and maybe even adding a video to your product so that they're excited about buying your product. And if your product looks better than the competitors, and if your product maybe has more images than the competitors, customers are more likely to buy your product, which again, ultimately means more money for you. But now let's go into the Helium 10 web app. And if you go to helium10.com, once you've signed up for your account, this is gonna be what it looks like once you log in. And so this is your dashboard and it'll tell you what today's gross sales are, today's total number of orders. And up here, you can even select the different accounts that you might have. This student, AJ and I, partnered on this product called Cocktail Cards. That's the name of this brand right here. And the thing about AJ is he actually was a bartender for 10 years. He lost his job during the pandemic. He needed to make some money and he ended up joining my Amazon FBA coaching program, the Passion Products Formula, which is an Amazon FBA mentoring program slash course. And I have a bunch of pre-recorded lessons showing you how to start a profitable Amazon business. And it comes with weekly calls with me. And after he joined that program, I ended up partnering on this product with him. And the crazy thing is within his first three months selling on Amazon, he's done almost $150,000 in sales. And that's because he created a passion product. And that's something I talk a lot about on this channel. But anyways, he's right now just selling it in the United States. We're looking at eventually expanding to Canada and Mexico. But for now, he's just selling in the United States. So we're gonna keep it selected on the US account. And that's one of the cool features of Helium 10 is you can link your Amazon accounts and it, it'll show you all kinds of very interesting things such as down below here, you'll see your analytics. 
It'll track your keywords and it'll see how well you're ranking for different keywords. It'll also calculate your profits for you. And I'll show you these tools later in this video. In fact, we're gonna go over all of these, these different tools right here. But the first tools that I wanna talk about are actually tools that'll help you to do product research. These are tools that'll help you to find a $100,000 per year Amazon FBA product. Now, I'll start off by showing you how I found cocktail cards, how I found this idea. And the tool that I actually used is called the Magnet 2 tool. And a lot of people, when they're doing product research, they use Blackbox. And I'll show you how to use Blackbox in just a minute, but my favorite tool for finding a product is the Magnet tool. The thing about selling on Amazon that you have to remember is at the end of the day, Amazon is a search engine. People go to amazon.com to type in products that they want to find and buy. And the best way you can make a lot of money on Amazon is find things that people are typing into Amazon often that you think you could rank at the top of the search results for. And what that means is find things that people want to buy and there's not a lot of competition. And so I'll show you how I found this product. And this is his product right here. So let's go into the Magnet 2 tool and I'll show you how I did it. And the thing that makes this tool so powerful is you can put anything that you think people might search in Amazon into this tool, click get keywords, and it will tell you exactly how many times per month people are searching this. And the more often people are searching whatever you're gonna be making a product for, whatever the search phrase that someone would use to find your product, the more often that they're searching that, the better. And the real secret to finding a successful product on Amazon is to find something, as I mentioned, that people are searching a lot, that when you search for that on Amazon, no product yet exists. But the other thing that makes this tool so useful is that not only will it help to validate product ideas, you can actually, even if you don't have a product idea, you can use this tool to find product ideas. And the way to do that is to scroll down here, and whenever you type something into the Helium 10 Magnet 2 tool, it gives you a bunch of other recommendation of other ideas of things that are related to whatever you searched in. So the way that I actually found the idea for this product, this cocktail card product that has done almost $150,000 in sales in its first three months, is I went into this tool and I typed in something that I was looking for on Amazon. I was looking for a bartender book on Amazon, basically a book that talks about how to make cocktails. I clicked get keywords and I could see right away that over 3,400 people per month were searching this in Amazon. Now the problem is with bartender book, there was a lot of competition. I'm not gonna try to create a bartender book, but since I was searching for this on Amazon, anytime I'm searching for something on Amazon, I like to throw it into this tool just to see what this tool gives me as ideas. Now the secret to using this tool successfully is as you can see, there's over 3,400 keywords that it gives us. And we can go to the dropdown and make it so there's 150 keywords per page. And you can see there's still over 10 pages. That's, so there's over 3,400 different ideas it's giving to us. So one of the secrets here is click on the Magnet IQ score. And this is basically a ranking of how good of an opportunity that Helium 10 thinks a certain product phrase is. And the higher the score is, the better of an opportunity. The way that they calculate this is they take the search volume divided by the number of competing products times a thousand. And obviously the higher the search volume, the better, the lower the number of competing products, the better. And so for instance, this product right here has a search volume of 531. It only has one competing product. And so it gets a Magnet IQ score of 531,000. So to Helium 10, this is a really good idea. You should make a product related to this, but let's read this. The 99% Invisible City, a field guide to the hidden world of everyday design. Well, that's a very specific, when people are typing that in Amazon, they're looking for a specific product. I'm not gonna try to create a competitor product to that. So what I do is I look through all these recommendations that Helium 10 gives. Cocktail shakers, look at Magnet IQ score, 86,000. Their search volume is 86,000 per month, but there's a thousand competing products. That's a lot of competing products. Let's, let's look at this really quickly. And you can see that if you type in cocktail shaker into Amazon, you can, find the pro you can find a cocktail shaker. In fact, not only can you find a cocktail shaker, but they have different colors, they have different sizes, uh, they, they have everything you could possibly imagine. Now, if you're looking at this right now and you're thinking, you know what, I really want a wooden cocktail shaker set and these are all metal, maybe there's an opportunity or maybe if you can think of a way to brand it or niche it down. So this is not a good opportunity for a product. And what I do is I keep scrolling down here, look at, we can look at bartender kit as well. And yeah, look, there's a ton of bartender kits. This isn't, uh, th this is also extremely competitive, but 
if you if you see a way that you could improve that, if you think that when people type in bartender kit, this isn't what they want, that you can make a product that is more in line with what people would be searching into Amazon and maybe people would be more likely to buy your product, then it is a good opportunity. Now, the way that I found cocktail cards is I went to page three and as I was scrolling through these different things that people search on Amazon, I was looking at the search volume, I was looking at the competing products and right around here, I saw cocktail recipe cards and a light bulb went off in my head. I looked on Amazon and when you typed in cocktail recipe cards, when I first found this idea into Amazon, there was no competing products. And anytime you can find that people are searching for something in Amazon and there's no product related to that on the Amazon platform, you need to make that product. That is a golden opportunity. So let me show you another example and talk about this tool in a little bit more depth. The other day I was thinking about Peruvian food and I was curious in Amazon, what kind of Peruvian food products are there? So I came into the magnet to keyword research tool and I typed in Peruvian food just to see what kind of ideas would come up. And I can see that not a lot of people are searching this per month. There's only 451 people searching Peruvian food per month on Amazon. There's also the CPR and the CPR is basically how many people over an eight day period would need to search Peruvian food and buy your product for you to rank at the top of the search results for Peruvian food. And it's only eight people. So if over the course of eight days, that's one, people, one person a day searching in Peruvian food and buying your product, you'd rank at the top. There's also the Magnet IQ score, which we talked about earlier, and it also shows some of the different match types right here. Then it shows you the distribution, and this is the total number of keywords that are shown down below. So one thing I recommend doing actually before we go any further, and you can see even though let's put 150 keywords per page, there's over 10 pages. So uh, you know there's over 2,000 keywords that's being shown down below here. There's also, or it shows organic keywords, smart complete keywords, and Amazon recommended keywords. So if we keep going down here, something that we didn't talk about before is filtering. So you can actually filter. So maybe for the magnet IQ score, you don't wanna show anything that's less than a magnet IQ score of a thousand. And let's not put a maximum because I want as high of a magnet IQ score as possible. You can also show only things that have a minimum search volume of 10, and you can show the word count. The word count is, how many words are in the search. So this would be two words, this would be three words, uh, another you know, two words right here, four words right here. So let's keep going up. You can also show how many competing products there have. So maybe you wanna only show products that have a com only under 100 competing products. There's also the title density, which is a little bit complicated to explain, but basically it's how many products on the first page have the keyword Peruvian food in the title. And this is helpful to know because if there's a lot of products that are ranking on the first page for a certain keyword, so when someone types in Peruvian food into Amazon, if most of the products there don't even have the word Peruvian food in the title, that's a good indication that you could probably rank at the top of the search results. So this is another thing of how competitive it is. You can also show match type. Now down below here is some advanced filters and you can see the search volume trend over the last 30 days, and you can show phrases that contain a certain word. So maybe I only wanna show phrases that contain the word Peru, and it would only show those search phrases, or you can exclude search phrases that contain a certain thing. Now let's go here and let's follow that same pattern. I'm gonna to go to Magnet IQ score, and as I scroll through here, I'm gonna look for any really interesting opportunities. And one opportunity I found while I was doing product research, which in just a week or two, I'm gonna be releasing a complete in-depth product research tutorial, including more information on how to use this product. I saw this Ahi Amarillo paste. There's over 4,000 people searching it per month. And when I go to Amazon, there is some competitors here, but none of their packaging, none of their branding is really that good in my opinion. I think there's room for opportunity here with this product. Now the normal way that most people use this tool is they actually use it to find keywords for their product's title. And I'll talk more about that later in this video, how to use this tool to find the keywords and why that's so important. But let's talk about another product research tool. So the next one I'm gonna talk about here is Black Box. And what Black Box allows you to do is it allows you to sort through all the products being sold on Amazon so you can find the best opportunity. 
Now this is especially helpful if you're looking to do private label or wholesale, but even if you are trying to create your own passion product, which is what I recommend on this channel, this tool is still gonna be extremely helpful. So what you first wanna do is you wanna figure out what categories do you wanna show products in. Then we'll talk about how to filter through all those results to find a really amazing opportunity. So when selecting categories, I recommend finding categories that are easy to create products for. For instance, you really don't wanna create your own appliance. That's complicated, it involves electronics, it's expensive, a lot of things can break. So let's click on some of the categories that I do recommend selling in, and that'd be arts, crafts, and sewing. Uh, baby is a good one. I, don't, I usually avoid automotive, but there's some automotive products that could be sold, actually. Beauty and personal care. You're probably not looking to create a book or CDs uh, or vinyls. Camera and photo products sometimes, though you don't wanna to try to create a camera, but maybe some of the camera related products are a good thing to sell. Cell phones and accessories, again, you're not gonna to try to sell a cell phone, but maybe the accessories. Clothing, shoes, and jewelry. I'm not, I wouldn't recommend trying to do collectible currencies. Uh, computer and accessories, maybe. Electronics, let's avoid that category. Grocery and gourmet is definitely a category that you could sell. Uh, health and household, home and kitchen, Industrial and scientific, maybe. Kitchen and dining. Movies and TV, you're probably gonna avoid. Musical instruments, I'm gonna avoid that as well. Uh, office products is a good one. Patio lawn and garden. Pet supplies, I also would avoid software. So the next thing we're gonna look at here is, you can actually say to Helium 10, only show me products that make a certain amount of monthly revenue. So I would say, at a minimum, only show products that are doing at least $1,000. If they're doing under $1,000, do you really wanna to try to sell that product on Amazon? And let's put a max at $50,000. Now, if this is your first product ever, you actually might wanna lower that to, let's say $30,000, just to get an idea of what kind of products are being sold out there. Because if people are making $50,000 off their product, it's gonna be hard for you to compete more than likely. Though every once in a while, you can find a gem where someone's making a ton of money off of a product and you could go in and you could improve that product and you could outcompete them. Now for the price, this is a really important thing. We're gonna to try to do a price between $15 and $85. Like I said earlier in this video, you never wanna to try to sell a product for less than $15. And I don't recommend trying to sell products for more than $85 because if you're selling a product that costs $85 or more, oftentimes it's hard to convince people to buy that kind of a product on an impulse buy. People, when they're buying a product that's more than $85, they're gonna put a lot of time, energy, and attention into it. We wanna to try to find that sweet spot, which I recommend between $15 and $85. And the other thing is, if you're selling a product that's $85 or more, it's probably gonna cost a lot of money to manufacture those products. So for beginners, I recommend between the $15 and $85 range. Now for the review count, I honestly don't care. As long as they have, I don't care if they have any reviews but I don't wanna show any products that have more than 500 reviews. Because if a product has more than 500 reviews, it's probably a relatively competitive market and I don't wanna to try to compete. Now review rating, we're gonna leave this one blank for right now, but one tactic that you can use is find high selling products that have a low review rating. So let's say max of 3.5 stars, go in, review their one, two, and three star reviews, make a better product, and then you can steal all those sales. You can, because you made a better product, if they were selling $30,000 a month, people are gonna go to Amazon, they're gonna see your product, they're gonna buy your product instead. You can also click on the shipping size tier. Uh, for now, just to make things easy, let's say small standard size and large standard size. That's the most common size items that are being sold on Amazon. If it's your first product, I don't recommend trying to sell large or oversized products, though sometimes there is good opportunities there. Now, something I didn't talk about here is all the advanced filters. And there is a ton of advanced filters. We're not gonna go into depth about this in this tutorial. You can click on the little question mark for all these and learn more. But you could spend so long just trying to figure out the perfect product here. This is just a basic tutorial. So we're gonna click search. Now, Helium 10 will show you a bunch of results, over 200 plus products. And let's look at this first one right here. Dog umbrella for small dogs. So this product has a 3.5 star rating and it's making $1,000 a month. So this might be an interesting idea. This might, maybe you wanna sell a dog umbrella. Maybe you can find a way to make it a five-star product and make it a lot more money than $1,000 a month. And you can scroll through all these different products. Now, th this is how most people use this tool. 
But the other way that I recommend using this tool is instead of looking for products, look at keywords. Look for what people are searching for in Amazon. And again, with this tool, you can put in a bunch of criteria and filters that you want Amazon to show you. And so what I would recommend is, for instance, for search volume, you can tell Amazon, only show me products that are being searched a minimum amount of times per month, up to, let's say, 5,000 times per month. How much revenue as well? the price point between 15 and 85, the review count, uh, let's say max of 500 again, the review rating, let's say a max of 3.5, and then the word count as well. And we're gonna click search. Now instead of showing you products, this is gonna show you what people are searching for in Amazon that it thinks is a good opportunity. So let's go through here. And this isn't always a quick process. Sometimes it takes a little bit of work to find a really good opportunity. Soap with money in it. All right, so that's a pretty, it's got three and a half stars. It's making $2,000 a month. Maybe this is a brand. Maybe this is something you could create an entire product brand. It's a soap that maybe it has a $1 bill in it. Maybe it has a $100 bill in it. And if you could probably make something like that go viral. That's just a, an interesting category right there. And just keep going through this. And what I recommend doing is searching for all these search phrases on Amazon and seeing if it's a good opportunity or not. The next tool we're gonna to talk about is Trendster. And the way that Trendster works is you actually have to put in either keywords or ASINs. And ASINs, again, we can go here, and let's just grab a couple ASINs at random. Let's take this ASIN and this ASIN. And to get the ASIN, you can get it from the URL up here. And I'm gonna take that, I'll paste it in here. It's also in the product listing as well. If I type in ASIN, it'll show the ASIN right there. So let's look at the trend for this product. So this will show you the number of sales for both the products over the course of the last 24 hours, the last seven days, the last 30 days, 90 days, one year in all time. And so we can see that the one product right here, it kind of goes up and down. So the lowest sales rank is in like the summer months, which actually means it has the highest number of sales. And it also shows you with this blue part, the price. So you can see that they've tested a lot of different price points. It looks like they changed their price during different seasons and during different times. Here they lowered their price and that probably led to increased sales. And this tool, if you're gonna be selling in a certain category, it's important to know what are the trends, what are the seasons look like, when should you lower your price and when should you raise your price. So now let's go into another thing that I should talk about here is as you start having product ideas, you can save them to your list and Helium 10 will add all the different products you have here. This is a nice feature. If you're doing a lot of research, it'll start saving your products here. The next tool we're gonna to talk about is Cerebro. The way that the Cerebro tool works is it actually lets you know what keywords, what searches certain products are ranking for. So let's, for instance, go to my product and we can grab the ASIN here. We're gonna take it, we're gonna paste it in here. We're gonna click get keywords. And again, there is a ton of different filters. I'm not gonna go over all the different filters because they're relatively similar to other filters we've seen before. And what's cool about this Cerebro tool is that it will really help you if you're trying to create your Amazon listing, but it also can help you with product research. Let me show you. For instance, if you were trying to create a competing product to my product, you could go down here and you could figure out exactly what things people are typing into Amazon and finding my product. And then you could use those keywords for your own title. So for those people that don't know, these are the keywords. Whatever someone types into Amazon is called the keywords. And you wanna make sure you include those keywords in your title. So how do you know what are the right keywords to include? Well, that's where tools like Cerebro and the Magnet2 tool come in. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna look at what is my organic rank and what, which ones am I ranked number one for? And then also you'll wanna see the search volume because it doesn't matter if a product's ranked number one, what you really wanna do at the end of the day is see how much search volume there is for that keyword because if no one's searching for it, you don't wanna include that in your title. So not surprisingly, um, Performance and Uploader, is, which is my brand name, is one of the, the best keywords that I have. But some other ones here are Low Carb Energy Gel, Whole30 Food Products, Whole30 Approved uh, Keto Gels, now, one way that you could use this for product research is you can actually look at any type, anytime you're trying to buy a product on Amazon, you can put it into this tool 
and you can see what comes up here. Now, for instance, with my product, I see that people are typing into Amazon low carb energy gel. In fact, 45 people a month are typing that in. And then same thing, we have keto gels, which is actually only four people per month. But if we go up here to the phrases containing and we put the word gel, let's click apply filters. We can see that 31 people are searching low carb energy gel, 44 are searching keto gel. Actually, I messed it up earlier. I said that it was only nine people, but that's the Cerebro IQ score. It's actually 44 people. Uh, 263 people are searching PNB gel, keto running gel, 275 people. So this is an interesting opportunity. If you wanted to create a product that was unique and different, let's go to Amazon and let's look here. There is no keto gels. There's my product and then there's a competitor product, but there's no actual keto gels. There's a carb boom, which is full of carbohydrates, which is not low carb. It's not ketogenic friendly. So when you're trying to figure out what keywords to include in your product listing and your title and things like that, this is a really amazing tool. And what you can do is you can start selecting different words that you would like to include and you can actually add them to your keyword list. So let's create a new folder here. Let's call it H10 review. Let's save that for later. And I'll explain why this is important a little bit later in this video. The next tool we're gonna to talk about is the misspellinator. And the misspellinator is not that valuable of a tool, but basically we could type in words like keto nut butter here, click prepare, and it will find misspellings. And the reason this could be helpful is you might wanna include these in the back end keywords that you have for your Amazon product, or you might wanna to try to create Amazon PPC campaigns around the misspellings. And you can see here that sometimes people misspell the word nut with, and they put an extra T, and sometimes butter, they don't have both T's. Uh, there's some other misspellings here, but these are good things to keep in mind, and you can use these, as I mentioned, for Amazon PPC, or for your back-end keywords, potentially. The next tool we'll talk about is Frankenstein. And Frankenstein is a good tool to use, especially when you're creating your Amazon title, when you're creating the bullet points, when you're trying to find the back-end keywords. And the way that this tool works is you can put in a bunch of original keywords here. So let's upload some keywords from a list that I've created before. So I also partnered with my girlfriend on a product called Vino Cards, which is a set of wine flashcards. And we found that these were some good keywords for her to target. We have blind tasting, blind wine tasting cards, party wine tasting party, wine board game, wine flashcards, uh, wine tasting, just all kinds of different things. But you can see that it's very repetitive. The word wine shows up a lot. And so what this tool does is it removes duplicates and it will convert all the words into lowercase, which is helpful because when you're putting your keywords into the back end of Amazon, you want lowercase words and you don't want duplicates. So let's go ahead and process. And it gives us this nice little phrase here. So when I'm creating my title, I wanna to try to include all these words and I don't necessarily need to replicate them. I don't necessarily need to duplicate them. And let me show you what that looks like right here. So Vino Cards, go here, this is the product. And we took a lot of those keywords and we included them. Wine, tasting, game, complete, beginner's guide, wine. So we did repeat wine there and there, but it just grammatically, it just made more sense to do that. But if you wanna make sure you don't repeat things, especially in the back end keywords, this is a very helpful tool. Another tool that is really helpful when creating your Amazon listing is this Scribbles. And this tool, it's not necessary. It's not necessary to pay for Amazon just for this one tool. So let me upload some words here. Let's use the Vino Cards example again. And when you're creating your title, this is a good area to just start incorporating some of these words. And this will also help you to make sure that you do not go over the character limit because you can only allow your titles to be so long. So let's take this title right here. Let's paste it in here. Now it does allow you to add emojis, though I'm pretty sure on Amazon you're not allowed to add emojis. So I'm not sure what the purpose is of that. But also when you're creating your Amazon listing, there's the bullet points and all these bullet points are extremely important. You really wanna to try to include your keywords in the bullet points as well. Because when Amazon's trying to figure out what keywords, what search phrases you should rank for in Amazon, it's gonna look at your title and it's gonna look at your bullet points. So this is a good place to start testing and jotting down some things. So let's take one of our bullet points here. And there is a limit to how long bullet points can be as well. And you can go through here and you can write out all your different bullet points 
just so you can scribble them down first. Same thing with your description. You can put your search terms in here as well. This is kind of a novelty item. I don't think that I would pay money for this, uh, but it does come for free with all the other tools. There's the index checker. And with the index checker, you're gonna put an ASIN. So I'm, I'm putting the ASIN of my product in here. And it's gonna check to make sure that it's been indexed in Amazon for different search phrases. So I wanna see, is it indexed for the search phrase keto nut butter? And we're gonna click check keywords. And we can see that it is in the traditional index. And the traditional index just means, is it in Amazon? If someone were to type in the ASIN plus the keyword, is it in Amazon at all? Can they find it in Amazon? There's also the field ASIN index. And this is just making sure that it's indexed in Amazon. There's the storefront index. So we don't actually have a storefront for PNB. We never made one. Um, so it's not indexed there. But if you wanna make sure that your storefront is indexed, this would be the indicator. So if your product's not showing up in Amazon, or if you wanna make sure that your product is showing up for a certain keyword, this tool is a quick, helpful tool that you can use. Let's also look at the listing analyzer. And you will just paste in an ASIN in here, and you'll click analyze. And it will give you a listing score. Now I, here I get a 9.5 even though here I get a 10. And the reason I get a 9.5 is I do have some bullet points that are in all caps. And according to this tool, Amazon discourages using all caps, though I haven't gotten in trouble for it. So it's not something I'm gonna be super worried about. But as you're creating your listing, if you wanna make sure that it's as good as possible, you can use this tool or you can use the listing health score breakdown here. They're, they do basically the same thing, but this one will show you in a little bit more detail the next tool that we're gonna talk about is the listing builder. And this tool will help you to create and optimize your listings. And it has two different options. You can either create a listing from scratch or optimize a current listing. So let's try optimizing this. Let's just see what happens here, see what kind of suggestions it gives to us. So the first thing you're gonna do is input what kind of keywords you're targeting. And I already have some keywords for cocktail cards that we're targeting. Then we're gonna click on create listing content and Write your content using your sorted keywords from your bank. And so cards is one here. It's basically showing us how we're repeating cocktail and uh, showing us some different things that we could do to potentially improve our title and our bullet points. And this is kind of helpful actually. This isn't a tool that I've ever used before. And as I'm looking at this, I'm not gonna go through and fix it right now, but it shows us that you know there's some, some phrases that are being repeated, I believe, and just yeah, some things that maybe we're missing that we should add. So this is something that I'll look at more often. And it looks like I could fix it right here and then I could sync it to Amazon if I wanted to. But for now, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mess around with that. Another thing that I've never used before is the audience. In this tool, it says, uh, welcome to audience, consumer research to help you know what sells before you sell it. Audience gives you instant access to shoppers ready to answer your most burning questions. That's actually really cool. Uh, and you can create a poll for $50 and you're gonna get 50 detailed responses. So you might wanna ask like, what colors and design should I use? What imagery presents my product in the best light? So actually, this is something that I definitely would use in the future. It does cost more money than just the monthly subscription, but for 50 bucks to get 50 detailed responses. So if you're deciding between two main images, you might wanna create a poll. And there's some more information here. It's quick and, and simple to set up. You can customize the audience. You can do Amazon Prime members. You can customize it based on their hobbies or their interests. And it says you're gonna get quality feedback. Again, I've never used this tool, but for 50 bucks, I would try it out. Let's see what other options we have here. So we're gonna talk about the marketing here and the learning and analytics and operations. Let's talk about mar marketing really quick. And Adtomic is the marketing platform that they have with Helium 10. And this tool, you can get a free month trial but then it costs 2% a management fee for over $20,000. So if you're spending less than $20,000, it might be worth checking out this tool. And I actually haven't used this tool either, but it seems like it's gonna help you, it says see the big picture and see better results. So it, it gives you clear visibility into your organic and PPC sales. So I think what it's doing is it's separating and showing you what sales are coming from PPC and what sales are coming from organic. It also does smart bidding. So if you wanna fluctuate your bids throughout the day, which is probably a good idea, I don't usually do that, but I, in the future that might be something I would consider, this tool will do that for you. And it also has painless search term reporting. I don't really know what some of these terms mean. I mean, there, there's pretty easy search term reporting within Amazon. I haven't tried this out, so maybe this is even easier. 
Another tool that you can use is the portals tool. And the portals tool allows you to create easy to use links and QR codes. So just a few clicks from printing, it says. It also will allow you to create uh, product inserts relatively easy. They have templates to help you create product inserts. So this is a really interesting tool. Another one of those tools that I haven't used in depth that I would explore a little bit more. It's relatively easy to use QR codes. I'm sure that this tool makes it a little bit simpler. Let's try getting started. Let's see what it looks like. So I think what this is gonna do too is it's gonna show you with QR codes how many times people are actually scanning them. And in this dashboard here, yeah, we, got, we can create QR code, product inserts, and product inserts for anybody that doesn't know, if you buy a product or if you're selling a product on Amazon, you can insert a little flyer into that product and it can have a QR code that can go and you can collect people's emails and you can ask them to leave reviews for your product. Now, this is a little bit of a gray area as far as the terms of service with Amazon, but they even have some templates. Let's see what kind of templates they have while we're looking at this. This is a pretty cool template. It also has lead magnets. So for collecting emails and let's look here. And let's preview this. And you can see subscribe to our newsletter, first name, last name, email. So if you want to have some kind of an email capture in your Amazon product, and you don't want to go through the pain in the butt that it is to create an email capture, this could be a really easy option. So they have email opt-in, a thank you, button tree, product sales. Let's look at single product. And these pages are made so you can easily send people here and you can say, hey, buy now, and it'll eventually send them to Amazon to buy the product. So there's all kinds of different templates. Let's look at the product inserts. I'm curious about that. Create a product insert, claim coupon code, social warranty activation, instructions. Uh, let's go claim coupon code. And it shows you that this would be a nine inch by six inch one. Uh, let's go to save and continue. And it has some templates for your product inserts. So if you've ever wanted to create a product insert and you don't want to hire a graphic designer, thank you for your purchase for supporting our business. And it has a little QR code here. So that's actually a really cool tool. That's not something I've used before and I didn't even know it existed to be completely honest, but that's something that I would mess around with in the future. So another category that they have here is learning. And they do have the freedom ticket, the pro training and their academy. Now, I will be honest with you, I do think that a lot of their training that they have is really high quality. They have some, if you're looking to sell on Amazon and you don't want to sign up for an Amazon FBA course, and courses can be expensive. You know, courses could cost you $1,000. They have their own courses in here. Now, I will say this, as someone that does have an Amazon FBA mentoring program slash course that does cost $1,000, I've gone through their program and I have to say that my program is a lot more advanced, a lot more in depth. And one of the problems with this program, even though they say it's a thousand dollar value, it doesn't come with any kind of coaching. It doesn't come with weekly calls. It doesn't come with a, a really strong accountability group or just, it's not really a great community, but since it's a free add on to your monthly fee for paying for Helium 10, I would definitely check it out. I mean, for me personally, I do think one of the biggest mistakes that new sellers make is they try to do all of this on their own and they try to learn everything on their own. So that's why I offer my mentorship program. I'll put a link down below to a wait list. My program is not currently open. I open it up every once in a while. I'll probably be opening it up in the next couple of weeks. So if you want to get on the wait list and be the first one to know about my coaching program, there's a link down below. The next section I want to talk about is the analytics section. And the first tool we'll talk about here is the keyword tracker. So let's open that up. And the way this tool works is you can add what products you're selling on Amazon. So this is one of the products I'm selling on Amazon. And you can put in the keywords that you'd like to rank for. And it will show you where you're ranked for in these keywords. So for instance, my organic rank for keto running fuel is number 24, which isn't very good. It actually dropped four spots here. I can see low carb cashew butter. My rank is number four. It hasn't really changed. And you can go through this and you can see what you've improved on, like Mac coconut butter, I am now number five. I improved my rank by nine spots. Here you can also see keto nut butter. My rank is number eight. I went up four spots. And so this is helpful for basically watching how you're progressing. And let's see, you can actually even see the graph over time. So let's go to keto nut butter here and look at the graph. And you can see that my rank has slowly been improving over time. So that's a positive sign. Just to show you how this tool works really quickly, all you have to do is click add new product. You're gonna put the ASIN of the product here. So let's go to amazon.com, 
cocktail cards. Let's use this as an example. Click on the listing, get the ASIN, paste it in here, and then type in the keywords that you want to see where you rank for. So cocktail flashcards, cocktail recipe cards, bartender flashcards, bartender flashcards, one word. And I can continue typing out all the other keywords that I wanna see where I rank for. And then I'm gonna click start tracking. And you're gonna to have to give it around 24 hours to load up the data, but then you can start tracking how you're doing as far as the ranking in your keywords. Let's look at the next tool here, which is the market tracker. And the market tracker is a tool that I haven't used in depth, but it says here, market tracker helps sellers get the full picture of the markets they sell in, compare relative performance, spot trends, and be updated on new people coming into the market with daily accurate metrics. With all your data in one place, Market Tracker helps you gain market share and stay one step ahead of the competition. So how it works, you're gonna create your market, choose up to five keywords that will help define the market that you wanna track, add the specific ASINs to define the market even further, basically add your product and your competitor's product, then you can organize your market. Once the market is processed, top products for each keyword will be suggested. You can choose to track or ignore products or to make the market the most relevant for you. And then you will analyze the market and it says, get the full picture of your market with all the data in one place. See who's rising and see who's following, view trend information and stay ahead of the competition. So we can try starting this and just to see what it looks like here. So let's say create a new market. The keywords would be cocktail cards. That's one. Cocktail flash cards. Cocktail flash cards cards, two words, bartending cards, uh, cocktail recipe cards. And then as far as the ASIN, let's add cocktail cards just to start with that one and let's see what else we can do. Oh, and this will be a cocktail flash cards, create market. So it does take some time here to process the market, but it looks like it's gonna show us the trends of what products are doing well, when new products come into the market, and things like that. The next tool we're gonna to talk about here is the profits tool. And this tool gives you a snapshot of how much profit your business is doing. So without you having to go through your books and reconcile everything, you can just get a quick look at how profitable you are. And it says in the last week, we did over $2,000 in profit. Now, I didn't set this up correctly. So you have to enter your cost of goods sold, how much it costs you for your product. So let's go ahead and, and do that really quick right now. And I'm gonna click on this product. And to do this, you have to click on the export COGS, which is your cost of goods sold. You're gonna export that, save it. It's gonna give you a template file. Then you're gonna open that template file and here you're gonna put the product cost. So the product cost for this is around $6 and the shipping cost is around $2. That's just off the top of my head here. I'd have to go look at the books. Then we're gonna click save and we're gonna click import cogs and we're gonna take that file and import it. And now that we go back to the profits tool from here on out, it should have the correct amount of profit that we're making. Now to actually get even more accurate stuff, you'd have to connect this with your Amazon PPC account if you are doing Amazon PPC. But on this cocktail cards account, we're actually not doing any PPC. So the profit amount is actually accurate. Now let's talk about the operations section of tools. And one of my favorite tools right here is Refund Genie, which basically just makes you free money. And we'll talk about that in just a second here. But let's start with Alta by Helium 10. And Alta, as it says, is financial services designed for e-commerce. And Alta by Helium 10 modernizes your cash flow management with simple to use financial services that help grow your business. You can choose from five products to free up your cash flow, secure funding, and streamline all your payments. You connect your account for free. And basically, this does a few different things here. It's a credit line, meaning they can give you money basically as credit. And you can qualify up to a million dollars in flexible funding. So if you need to do production runs, if you need to order more inventory, but you don't have the money, you can get a credit line. Another way to use this tool is get a daily advance. As you probably know, Amazon doesn't pay you out right away. When you make money selling products on Amazon, they actually hold onto the cash, but you can free up your cash flow using this tool. The basically, Helium 10 with this tool will give you money ahead of time and then just take the money when Amazon actually pays it out. 
It also is a digital wallet in supplier pay, so it takes the hassle out of payments, meaning you can pay for your inventory costs, shipping costs, and supplier payments all from this digital wallet right here, paying up to 37 different currencies in over 200 countries. So to be completely honest, this isn't a tool I've used before, but if you're struggling with cash flow or if you're having issues paying your suppliers, this could be a really useful tool and this is something that I might look into in the future. The next tool we'll talk about is the alerts tool. And this helps you to monitor if anyone's hijacking your listing or if there's any major issues with your listing. And it looks like, yeah, you can tell whether or not you're winning the buy box. Now, if you're selling a passion product, which is what I recommend, and for those that don't know, a passion product is where you're selling your own unique product like AJ is doing here with cocktail cards, you're probably not gonna get a lot of hijackers. You're probably always gonna be winning the buy box, but if you're doing more of a private label thing or if you're doing wholesale, this tool can be very helpful to make sure that you're not having other people trying to sell on your listing. Even if you are selling a passion product, this tool is something that could be potentially useful. I know it's not as big of a deal for AJ. Since he only has one product, he's constantly checking his product. He doesn't have to worry about it as much. But as you start having multiple different products that you're selling and you don't wanna check on them every single day, let's say you're selling 50 different products, this could be a really good tool to tell you if a hijacker took over one of them. The next tool is called Inventory Protector, and it helps to stop any kind of coupon abuse. Now, an issue that some people have, especially if you set up your coupons wrong, is people can actually manipulate Amazon to give you products for free, or they can use those coupons to discount products and then end up reselling them. I did a video with Troy. This is one of my most viewed videos of all time. He made a mistake when setting up his coupons and it ended up making it so that hundreds of people got his product for free. If he would have had this coupon abuse prevention program, that never would have happened. So this is something that may be worth setting up. I don't think it's 100% necessary, but it's a nice little tool to have especially if you're doing a lot of coupons and if you are selling lots of different products. But now let's talk about Refund Genie. The way that Refund Genie works is basically explained here, but it says, do you wish you had an easy way to track your returned or damaged inventory on Amazon? Still paying storage fees for lost products? Refund Genie locates your own unsellable stock and quickly generates detailed reports so you can collect what you are owed in refund sooner. So for those that don't know, when you're selling on Amazon, Sometimes they still charge you fees on inventory that they lost. Sometimes people return things and they owe you, basically sometimes Amazon owes you money and they don't always pay you the money that they owe. And this makes it really easy, Refund Genie makes it really easy for you to basically go to Amazon and say, hey, you owe me all this extra money, where's my money, please pay me. So Refund Genie scans for the most accurate product status information available and it produces the best data possible based on the records available in Amazon's system. Ultimately, Amazon makes the final decision concerning which refunds it honors, but Refund Genie rapidly helps you to research and identify issues from your end. So let's try it really quick. Let's go ahead and click proceed here. And Refund Genie is currently creating the first uh, refund report here. It says it'll take about six hours. The next tool we'll talk about here is the follow-up email automation tool. A very helpful tool and basically you can enhance your engagement with customers by automating emails. So when people buy your products, you can send follow-up emails and remind them to actually go ahead and leave reviews. So it includes custom email templates, automated workflows, and the very awesome request a review feature here. And so let's go ahead and click get started. And just to take a look around, I won't fully show it up right during this tutorial, but if that's something that you guys want me to do, make sure to hit the like button. This video gets a thousand likes. I'll do an even more detailed tutorial of Helium 10. So we connected the MWS token already. Automate the product review request. Let's go ahead and turn on request a review. Click got it. And what that has done is it's automated so that every time someone buys our product, we're automatically gonna request a review, which if you're selling on Amazon, you know how important it is to get reviews for your Amazon listing. So what this is gonna do is automatically make it so more people are gonna give you reviews. Now we can set up automations here, which basically makes it so when someone orders our product, we automatically send them certain types of emails. There's email, email templates here. You can select what products you want to do the review tracking for. And there's even a blacklist so you can say which orders you do not want to send out certain messages for. So this is an extremely advanced tool. I could probably spend an hour talking about just this one tool, but if you want to automate getting more reviews for your product, this tool is actually extremely powerful. So let's go over the different plans and see which plan is right for you. And 
for pretty much everyone here, I think you should at least try out the free plan. Again, you can try out Helium 10 for free by using my link down below. There's also, when you click on the link down below, a coupon code to get 50% off Helium 10. Just use Travis50 as your coupon code and hit apply. But let's compare these different plans and see which plan you should use. And to be honest, for most people, the free plan is probably going to be fine. I would say you should upgrade to the platinum plan for at least one to two months while you do your product research because you can see that with black box here, you only get 20 uses on the free plan before you, can, you can't use it anymore. Trendster you get for 30 days. X-Ray you only get 50 launches. Uh, after your 50 launches, you need to upgrade if you wanna keep using X-Ray. And one thing I didn't even talk about during this whole review is that Helium 10 is starting to make it so if you sell on walmart.com, all their tool, a lot of their tools, not all their tools, but most of their tools will also work for walmart.com. I currently do not sell on walmart.com. That's something I'm looking at doing. I still think that most of the money that you can make is with amazon.com. So that's where I put most of my energy. But that's another really huge benefit of Helium 10 is that it works with Walmart. So look at X-Ray for Walmart. You only get 50 launches, even for the platinum plan. So that is something to keep in mind. You'd have to upgrade to Diamond. But for most of us watching, we're probably not even selling on Walmart. So here's where the big difference is between the free plan and the platinum plan. Cerebro, you only get two uses a day for the free and the starter. On the platinum, you get unlimited. Uh, the magnet tool, you only get two uses per day, which look, if you're really, really tight on cash, you can do that. You can only use the two uses per day. The other thing is with the magnet tool in Cerebro, it doesn't allow you to do some of the filtering. It doesn't allow you to do, it's basically gonna make it take a lot longer if you don't upgrade to the platinum package for the magnet tool and the Cerebro tool. Honestly, for those two reasons alone, I think it's worth upgrading for at least one to two months and then you can cancel your subscription after you find a product. We can keep scrolling down here. There's a lot of other things here. You can see that the, the free plan works for a lot of things, but with the free plan after six uses with the index checker, it stops. So, and, that, and that's probably okay. If you're only selling one product, you don't need that many times to use it. But as you start building up your Amazon account and using it more, you may want to upgrade. Let's see, yeah, same thing here with alerts, inventory protector, refund genie. Even on the platinum plan, it's limited, which is interesting. I'm actually quite surprised by that. The follow-up tool, that's another thing. That, that is actually super useful. Once you start selling on Amazon, that is one reason why you might want to upgrade to Platinum. But look, I'll be honest with you, 100 bucks a month is a lot of money just for that tool. So when I would start upgrading is when you're starting to get serious. Like Once you're making more than, I don't know, $5,000 a month profit, that's when you might want to actually pay the $99 a month every single month. So when you're first doing product research, it's worth paying. And then again, once you're starting to make, let's say $5,000 a month. And I wanna be clear, you don't need to pay for a tool like this. I was able to do over a million dollars in sales with my product without using a tool like Helium 10. And I know a lot of people that have had a lot of success without using tools. But for me personally, if I had to do it over again, I'd use a tool like this to just speed up my results. And at the end of the day, your time is worth a lot of money. And tools like this, make a lot of things that you might do manually a lot quicker. So we can keep going through this and we can see that there's a lot of differences here between the free and the platinum package. But I think it's pretty clear at this point that Helium 10 is a very helpful tool and that you should sign up at least for the free account, upgrade for a month or two while you're doing product research. And then once you're doing a decent volume in sales, it might be worth revisiting this and getting at least the platinum package. I'll put a link down below for that discount code. So make sure when you sign up that you click on the link and use my coupon code to get 50% off. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video.